Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are glad to present you our presentation about the funeral ceremonies in different countries. During our working, we compared three countries, Russia, England, and Japan, and found out that they have numerous interesting different funeral traditions. So now let us talk about them. Firstly, we'd like to tell you about the biggest country of the world. It is Russia. More than three quarters of Russians follow the Russian Orthodox Church, which has highly structured funeral rituals to guide the soul of the person who has died. Russian folk tradition, there can be such a thing as a good or bad death, which may influence other events. A good death, for instance, may be when a person dies of old age at a time God has planned for them, surrounded by their loved ones. A bad death may be unexpected or violent, while a good death is associated with God harvests, bad deaths may bring storms, droughts, and other misfortune. After a death, when someone dies, they are washed and dressed traditionally in white. In folk culture, these white robes would be left unhemmed and unfinished as a sign that they belong to the other world, the world of the ancestors. White is also a traditional orthodox choice, representing purity. A headband made of paper or cloth is placed on the person's forehead, adorned with the prayer, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Historically, a belt would also be fastened around the person who has died. A belt is deeply symbolic in both folk and orthodox culture, as it represents order and protection. The colors and styles of bells represented different things and could vary according to local tradition. Traditionally, the person who has died will be laid out in their home for three days, while the family makes funeral arrangements and pays their respects. In the past, people were usually laid on the dining table, but nowadays many people choose a casket for their loved one instead. During the funeral service, the mourners circled the open coffin in an anti-clockwise direction, taking the time to kiss the person who has died, or lay flowers upon them. The priest may sprinkle soil and holy oil into the coffin before pulling up the person's burial shroud to cover them. After the funeral, like other Christian funerals, there is usually a reception after the traditional Russian funeral service and this usually takes place at the family home. Food and drink is offered to mourners in a memorial meal known as kominki. Traditional foods served at this gathering include a type of pancake called plimi, fish pie and polivia, a dish made of wheat and fruit. The second country is England. In the UK it is customary for individuals to announce the death of their loved ones known as an obituary notice in a national or local newspaper. Alongside the announcement, they usually include the funeral details. This gives distant friends and relatives the chance to make arrangements to attend the funeral or send flowers. Most funerals are open to the public in the UK, unless the family has requested a private, intimate funeral with immediate friends and family only. In the UK, it is traditional to wear black, smart clothing to a funeral. Men often choose to wear suits. Black has long been the color associated with mourning, as it has connotations of being respectful. If you have not been told otherwise, it is advised that you choose a predominantly black colored outfit for the funeral you are attending. Today, some people ask funeral guests to dress in colors other than black. This is often the case with children's funerals, where their parents will ask guests to dress in their child's favorite color. If this is asked of you, it is important to fulfill the request as a mark of respect. Funeral procession. The traditional funeral procession is still popular in the UK today. The procession is led by the hearse, contained in the coffin and the funeral flowers. It is usually followed by the car or limousine driving the immediate family of the deceased. Although there are no special rights of way 
in funeral processions in the UK. Many funeral directors parade markers and flags in attempts to alert other motorists and keep the procession together. Traditionally, the funeral director would let the cortege on foot. This ritual was called pegging away. Although this is less commonly seen today, some individuals still choose to include the ritual as part of the funeral procession. However, the pager funeral director only attempts to walk a short distance before getting into the first. It is believed the tradition dates back to the times when horses and carriages were the predominant method of transport. Walking in the front of the hearse slowly allowed neighbors and passerby to stop and pay their respects. Burial traditions In the UK, the deceased can either be cremated or buried. During a burial service, it is customary to throw soil onto the coffin as it is lowered into the ground. Sometimes this ritual is carried out by the funeral director, however, family members often perform this ritual instead. As well as throwing soil onto the coffin, family members often throw things like flowers and personal items onto the coffin. This ritual is carried out as a symbol of love and remembrance. Wakes It is customary to hold a wake after a funeral has taken place in the UK. This event is kind of like a small party and is designed to celebrate the life of the deceased. The wake is usually hosted at the house of the deceased's immediate family, though it can be also hosted at a local pub or hotel. You will usually find that there is a plenty of food and drink available for you to help yourself too. Sobbing and grieving too much at the wakes is considered to be a bad form. Something that often ends up happening at wakes in Britain is the telling of old stories. Family members and friends of the person that died usually share fond memories of their loved one. Although wakes are a sad occasion, they provide a chance for families to reunite and remember the good times. And the third country is Japan. Here you will see totally the other traditions than in the previous countries, as it is a country of the East. Japanese funeral customs can be shocking for the uninitiated, so the more you know beforehand, the better able you will be to comfort and support mutual friends and their families. Attending a Japanese funeral works a deep insight into Japanese culture and personal identity. The most common thing you will hear about Japanese funerals is that they are a mixture of Shinto and Buddhist traditions. Buddhist funeral rites were introduced from outside and are meant to help the deceased make a transition from life to afterlife and to reincarnation should it not escape from the cycle of rebirth. Currently, Nearly all Japanese families employ a Buddhist priest after a death and participate in the rituals of his sect. The spirit in which the friends and family approach these rituals, however, reflects Shinto tradition. Wherever a Japanese person should pass away the body, if at all possible, will be brought back home to spend one final night on his or her own funeral. Eyes is packed around the body and it's covered with a sheet. A white cloth covers the face. Members of the immediate family, including children of all ages and friends from the neighborhood, will drop by and give their condolences. It is not uncommon for people to sit with, touch and talk to the body almost as if it, is were, as if it were still alive. The next morning, the body is taken in a slow procession to the place where services will be held. Depending on the means and preferences of the family, this might be a temple or a more secular facility. Some cities host a combined funeral parlor, overnight lodging and crematorium. When the destination is reached, the body is dressed, placed in the coffin and packed with dry ice. The coffin may be a simple wooden box, are testfully decorated. There is a window in the cover about the body's face. It is then placed in front of an arrangement of lights, sculpture and flowers suggestive of paradise. 
a portrait of the deceased is placed within the arrangement and incense, which must be kept burning at all times, is placed near the coffin. Then the wake begins. Guests arrive bearing gifts of money sealed in special envelopes tied up with black and white string, which can be found in most stationery stores. The amount of the gift varies with the closeness of relationship to the deceased. The priest kneels in front of the coffin to chant a sutra, and the immediate family will come forward, one by one, and offer respect to the deceased. The exact form this ritual takes will vary according to sect and locale. The next morning, they arise, return to where the deceased waits, and the entire procedure is repeated. This is the actual funeral, and the atmosphere and dress are more formal. Black is the color to wear, a suit with a white shirt and black, or in hand tied for men, and dress or kimono for women. When the funeral ends, the coffin is opened and flowers from the arrangement are given to the family and guests to place in the coffin. In some traditions, the coffin lid is nailed in place at this time. The coffin is then transferred to the crematorium accompanied by the mourners. The immediate family may repeat the incense burning there. The task of operating this furnace may fall to the closest family member or it may be handled by the crematorium staff. While the fire burns, the close relatives turn to the funeral feasts. In Japan, the annual memorial ceremony is replaced by the celebration of Obon, a three-day holiday in August, when the spirits of ancestors are set to return to their families' homes. In conclusion, we would like to say that there are different countries in the world, and of course all of them have completely different traditions. The funerals are a very important process in life, because none of us is immortal, and every person should respect and appreciate the remembrance of the deceased. That is why people try to organize these rituals verbally. It means that the deceased will live in their hearts forever. So now, we have some questions for you to answer. Thank you for your attention. Hello, let 